That is the Ego 56 volt blower, leaf blower. Let's check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and open this guy up. Let's see what we got. Surprisingly, they didn't even tape this thing closed. Lucky all the parts are in here, which I assume they are. Okay. This is what we see. Okay. So, got a standard blower tube. This is pretty amazing. It's a 480 cubic feet per minute of air. Uh, it says 250 to 480, I guess is variable speed. High efficiency, high efficiency brushless motor. That's good. That requires less energy to run the brushless motor and it lasts longer. Brushes uh, inherently introduce friction uh, in the motor and um, results in uh, more heat and uh, more energy usage. So this brushless motor is very important. It lasts longer and it's uh, lower energy consuming. Up to one hour runtime. It's pretty awesome. Wow, this thing is big. This is a big, big unit here. It's, it's pretty simple. In fact, we've got eh, simple instructions. We need instructions, but we'll see. Um, it's a pretty simple device, I think. It's a pretty sizable unit. As you look at it, it's got a humongous fan opening. And there's a motor right in there. It's, it's actually very light. Without the battery, this thing is very light. I, I put this part at about maybe three pounds. It's really lightweight, but it feels at the same time very, very solid. It's a very solid, well-made device I can see. If it's um, similar, which I believe it is, to my other Ego products, which is the lawnmower and also the 15 inch string trimmer. All right, so I'm not even reading instructions, and let's see if I can figure this out. There's only a one piece assembly, and I can see the direction that way. Whoa, let's try it out. I see a, a lock symbol. I assume it universally fits either direction. That would be the smart thing to do. The word ego is on both sides. I guess you just slide the thing on there. Yeah, slide it on and twist it so it locks in place, I assume. All the, you gotta push it all the way. How do you lock that darn thing? Did I lock it? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Keep turning it. It's a bit of a turn. I would assume it makes some kind of snap, but I don't hear a snap. Let's read the instructions so you get it correctly. Alright, get out your ego instructions. 56 volt. Who needs a whole gigantic manual to operate a blower? You just squeeze a button, I think, right? I mean, that's what it says. Read all the instructions. Maybe this is in 12 different languages. That could explain it. Safety, keep going. Warnings. Okay, warnings. Assembly, lots of warnings. Okay, here we go. Get to the meat of this thing. Uh, align, the, align either of the grooves in the tube with the knob on the blower housing. We did that. Push the tube onto the blower housing until the knob engages the grooves, which I guess we did. Turn the tube in the direction of the arrow until both of the knobs slide into the lock positions. I don't know if they 
I don't know if they slid into the lock position. Um, I wonder if I should do that a little bit better. That's the lock position. I don't think I did that. Let's, let's hold this. Hold it down and let's turn it. I don't think that's, that felt at least like it's on there really well. I think it locked. I just felt it slide. It doesn't click. It just sort of slid right across with a lot of torque that I put on it. Okay. Oh, no, your blower. Um, okay. What else? Install, remove battery pack. Yeah, you just slide the thing on there. It's pretty simple. Okay. Start this. Maybe I should read this part. To start the blower, you press down on the lock off lever, which is here on top. You hold it, then you depress the trigger, which is underneath. The blower will begin to run. To stop the blower, raise the trigger, obviously. Air velocity adjusting knob is on the top. Okay. Um, let's see. Then, uh huh. Okay. Operating. Okay. Blow around the outer edge of the debris pile. All right. Let's let's give this thing a whirl. Let's try it out. That's it. Maintenance ready. So you need instructions is only a page or two, maybe three pages. That's about it. Throw that stuff in there. Let's go load it up on the battery. Okay, today for your enjoyment, we got two batteries here. This is from my Ego lawnmower. This is the 4 amp monster battery. And I've got the uh, uh, 2 amp mini battery. I think this is the one that usually comes with the uh, Ego blower. I bought just the blower without the battery because I have this from the string trimmer. It's the same battery. And the amazing thing about these Eagle batteries, I'm going to tell you real quick, you can watch our video, which um, gives you more detail on the battery, but um, this thing charges on the fast charger with the lawnmower. The lawnmower comes with a fast charger. It charges in about 15-20 minutes. That guy there charges 30 minutes completely recharged. So these run an hour. So you'll actually be able to continuously run and never run out of juice. You just keep switching the batteries and charging them while this thing is running. There, locked in place. While it's running, then you're charging the other battery. And by the time that runs, this runs out, you've got, uh, you've got a new battery ready to go. Let's uh, see if it works. Like that, and let's squeeze it. I see a turbo button. I didn't see that in the instructions. I wonder what that does. Oh, it's just quiet. That was on low. If you see the low, that's low. It's very quiet. This thing is really quiet. Let's go to high, see what happens. Squeeze that, trigger it. This device is really quite quiet. I don't know if I believe it's 480. Maybe that turbo boost is going to do something. Let's see. Wow. Yeah, the turbo boost uh, gave it a 30% more airflow. So that was pretty good. You're going to want to have a big battery, I think, when you run this thing. So let's go to some testing here. Okay, everybody give you a good comparison. We're going to use our trusty, somewhat trusty Ryobi 18 volt blower. This thing is, I think it's really convenient, but I just call it weak. Okay. That's, that's the only problem with it. So let's give this a go on this leaf pile here. I'll see what it can do. And then we'll compare it to the Ego doing the same job. It's just going to take over and I hope it's going to finish it off. Okay. Let's get this going here. Look at the, look at the nozzle. Really, really small nozzle. This thing is an 1812. It's a Ryobi. 
I've had this for several years now, maybe four years. Um, it's been okay. This nozzle is so small. If I put this in, it's kind of struck the wheel. Not going to be struck the uh, air flow. I'm not going to use this. I'll hold it instead. Just to get some good shots here. Let's go. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that part was a key test, what it just did there. Let's get the Ego over here and try it out. All right, everybody, we're doing the same leaf pile as the Ego 56 volt on high. And then I'm gonna hit turbo. Let's see what it does. Same thing that the Ryobi was doing. Wow. This is great. Whoa. Whoa. This is great. I love it. This thing is great. Woohoo! Yeah. this thing is success this is amazing this is fantastic 480 cfm this thing just cleared that out amazing so much more powerful than that ryobi 18 volt let's do a little bit from this side i'm going to clear this whole thing out here
this thing is amazing. This is totally amazing. Ego, I'm gonna uh, say this is two thumbs up. Ego, 56 volt blower. This thing is really powerful at 480 CFM. This is more than my, uh, I have a gas Ryobi, which is 400 CFM. This is more powerful. It's pretty amazing. All right, let's go do some more. This thing is success. This is amazing. This is fantastic. 480 CFM. This thing just cleared that out. Amazing. So much more powerful than that Ryobi. 18 volt. Let's do uh, a little bit from this side and clear this whole thing out here. This thing is amazing. This is totally amazing. Ego. I'm going to say this is two thumbs up. Ego. 56 volt blower. This thing is really powerful at 480 CFM. This is more than my... Uh, I have a gas Ryobi, which is 400 CFM. This is more powerful. It's pretty amazing. All right, let's go do some more. All right, so we're going to... Attempt this tile again that we're going to use the Ryobi 18 volt. This is a much lighter unit, it's about half the weight. Even with the battery, it's really, really, really light. But it's not that powerful. Let's try it out. Let's see. Okay, this thing's considerably more weight, but uh, I think it's definitely worth it. It gets the job done. All right, the other one just can't do the job. Are we ready? That's a turbo. That's a turbo button.
That thing got the job done. This is uh, this is the one. This is the Eagle Blower, 56 volt. This is fantastic, brand new, and I got the little battery. And we've been running for a little bit here. It's doing good. Think got the job done. This is uh, this is the one. It's the Eagle Blower, 56 volt. This is fantastic, brand new, and I got the little battery. We've been running for a little bit here. gets the job done. All right, everybody. This is the next job. It's the lower lot. And our lower parking lot here at the resorts got a ton of, a ton of leaves and uh, pine needles that fell down. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what the little 18 volt Roby can do. And then we're going to give it a go with the uh, Eagle for the Super Bowl color. I think I'm not going to win, but let's give it a try just so you can see the difference in these two. Of the
I think this uh, Ryobi 18 volt will do a very fine job with a small area. So if you live in an apartment with a little courtyard or something like that um, on the ground floor, you got need to keep it clean. This is perfect. But if you've got uh, any kind of significant land, you got to clear the leaves. cleared that thing real fast this thing is really powerful it's just better let's go all the way around Everybody, we got the red light here. Red light's telling me we got to go charge this guy up, but I'm just gonna grab the other four amp battery, which is gonna double this runtime on turbo. Keep in mind, I was running turbo on this thing, so. I was Look at that from a distance that's pretty good i'm gonna put this i'm gonna need two hands to do this i'm gonna put down the gopro well, we cleared that thing real fast this thing is really powerful it's just better let's go all the way around
All right, everybody, we've got the red light here. Red light's telling me we got to go charge this guy up, but I'm just going to grab the other 4 amp battery, which is going to double this run time on turbo. Keep in mind, I was running turbo on this thing. So. Distance. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna need two hands to do this. I'm gonna put down the GoPro. This thing's getting. It's even heavy with the. Uh, with the two amp battery. I think it's better to have two hands on this thing. Let's give it a run till the other guns are power here. blinking this thing's done I've been running turbo most of the time so we're gonna we got out of a two amp battery maybe I don't know 15 20 minutes or so okay let's go swatch switch to a four amp battery all right everybody all right what I really enjoy is running with the uh, well I guess just the big big battery's gonna be good it's a little more more heavy but we got I just like having multiple batteries and this is great. I get to keep working. Charge up in only 20 to 30 minutes. With two batteries and a runtime of a half hour to an hour. It's no problem here. I'm gonna run turbo. Let's see what it does here. On a four amp. A little bit heavier, but not not bad actually. It's, it's still very balanced. I'm not getting too close to that pile because we could have rattlesnakes in here. Uh -huh. We got them around here and I don't, I don't want to be getting bit here. So uh, 
Uh, that's why you see me stand back. I did notice that when I put the fresh battery in here, it was a lot more powerful than the other one when it was blinking red. So uh, that's uh, just so you know. Uh, it, it has a pretty good power all the way through, but uh, it probably does slow down a little bit at the end of the battery life, but it's blinking red already and let you know before it shuts down. So I'm okay with that. All right, let's finish this off with the big 400 battery.
doing great. As you can see, excellent job done by the Ego 56 volt. I cannot say that much, if any, was done by the Ryobi. So it tells you. All right, land that's covered with uh, leaves. Very typical here. Okay, not a flat surface. Here we go. We're going to go on turbo mode. And I'm watching out for the snakes, so you're going to see I'm not going to get too close to this stuff until the leaves are gone. did a really good job very good job of the leaves on the land as well as would be expected all right guys here's my uh, final wrap up this is a great deal um, I'd suggest this is the order you get these things in get the lawnmower first 56 volt lawnmower uh, unless you got I mean, unless you like your lawnmower that's okay then you get the um, 56 volt 15 inch string trimmer, which uh, you check our other video, it's completely amazing. This thing is completely amazing too. Um, I do like getting the uh, lawnmower because you get the bigger battery it's included, the 4 amp. The 15 inch string trimmer has the um, small 2 amp battery, uh, which we ran first and then it ran out after about 20 minutes on turbo. So. Um, then go ahead and get one of these units. It's only $99 at Home Depot without the battery on their website. They do not have it in the store without the battery. They only sell the unit with the battery in the store, which costs uh, $180, $190 or so. But for $99 just for the unit, and you've already got the battery from your string trimmer or for your, your lawnmower, this is a fantastic deal. So, go and get one of these things. It's, it's better than a gas pro, I gotta say. It's so easy, no gas, no smell, it just, it's on, it always starts up, I guess. And it's, it's more powerful. Hard to beat that. It's cheaper to run too, given the way gas prices are. Alright y'all, thanks for watching. Check out other videos. Go to our channel.
uh, Extreme DIY Home. We've got a, a lot of stuff on there. We're, we're torture testing all the Ego equipment. Um, we're also uh, torture testing some of the RYOB. We're doing some uh, uh, DIY Home uh, great educational uh, videos as well. So that's, uh, that's all the stuff we're working on here. Uh, please uh, like us, uh, subscribe to our channel, and um, if you can figure out how to donate, that would be great. We haven't received any donations yet to help us acquire these great machines, but um, uh, even, a even a dollar will just prove that the donate button works. We, uh, <laughs> I can't seem to figure out how to do it myself, but uh, apparently they say that um, it's possible on our channel. All right. Um, that's about it. Thank you all.